Activity 3 of the graduation plan assignment asks you to find the, the uh, information for your advisors on campus. You'll see that I already put my name and information there. That's because we want our TRIO students to come and see us when they have any questions. But it's also good to know who your major advisor is. So if you're not sure what your major is, you're going to put deciding here. And then you're just going to jump to Activity 4 and start your graduation plan. If you do know what your major is, type it in here. Then you're going to let me know how sure you are about this major choice. And then you're going to go to this website to identify your major advisor. When you go to that website, it looks like this. You're going to scroll down, and if you know the college in which your major is housed, you can click on that and it'll navigate you right there. If you don't know, you can just scroll past these and the International Student Advisor and the, the Athletic Advisor, the Student Success Advisors, oh these people look nice, and then you'll just scroll down until you find your major. So if I scroll down and say I want to major in psychology, I can go down to the College of Humanities and social sciences and I'm just going here I go there's Chandler he's the psychology advisor so you'll write his name on activity 3 and you can put his contact information as well if you plan to transfer to another school you'll need to find this information at the school that you plan to transfer to now it's time to start your graduation plan this is, part, this is what you'll upload as part of your graduation plan assignment. It's an Excel spreadsheet, so it's going to calculate your credits for you, making it a little bit easier. Remember, we're trying to make a two-year plan to get you through your associate degree. So you'll need a total of at least 60 credits, college-level credits, in order for this plan to work. Now, the first thing you'll do is put your name on it, your major, where you plan to study that major, your D number, the date you're working on it, and then do you remember activity one where you put all of your prior college credits? Total up those credits and put it in this box. So if you had any AP credit or concurrent enrollment credit, you'll put the number of credits here. Then you put the courses in that you're taking this semester. You can find that in My Dixie in degree works or on your transcript. So I'm just going to type some classes here. Let's pretend I'm an incoming freshman and I'm taking SSC 2001. That's what a course ID looks like. It's called Smart Start Seminar. It's our trio class. I know it's worth two credits and then you'll also need to identify what kind of requirement or elective does the class satisfy. Our class does not satisfy a requirement, so I can either, I, I prefer to change the font color to show what it satisfies, so it's an elective. I'm also in English 1010D, which is the first composition class that you need to take for your general education composition requirement. I know it's worth four credits and I know it's a GE. How do I know if something's a GE? Well, you can look in Degree Works and see a list of general education classes there, or you can look at the resources that you've opened up, like the general ed checklist. I can see each category of general education here and the course IDs that satisfy those requirements. So there's my English 1010D right there. It's called Intro to Writing, and we determined it's a GE. I'm also in Math 900, which is Transition, if I can spell it, that'd be great. Transition Math 1, I know that's four credits. Now here's something tricky though. Courses that are numbered below 1,000 do not count toward graduation. So even though this class is worth four credits, it doesn't count toward graduation college level credits. So I'm going to put a zero there. 
So if you're in Math 900 or Math 980, you're going to need to remember that. Now, these credits do count toward your tol totals that you need to take for scholarships and Pell Grant, but they just don't count toward graduation. I'm also taking Geology 1010, Intro to Geology. I know that's three credits. Again, how do I know this? Well, I looked at my general ed listing or my degree works. I know this satisfies a general ed in physical science, so I'm going to do that. Now, with my transitional math one, which really is four credits, I'm taking 13 credits. So that's a full-time schedule. I am going to put this back to zero, though, because as we're calculating credits for our graduation plan, we don't want it to count in those totals. So I'm taking a full-time schedule, and I've got all of my fall 2021 classes listed. Now let's talk about my major. I want to major in communications. I need to plan a two-year plan that includes my general eds, but also maybe some requirements for my communications major. There might also be some general eds that can double dip. They can count as general education courses and also count as requirements or prerequisites for my major. I want to show you a little hack. One of the resources you've opened up is the college catalog. If you click on degrees and programs, you can find the degree requirements for all of our degrees at Dixie State. It defaults to bachelor's degrees. So if I am majoring in communications, I'm going to click on C. I'll have to decide which one I want to do. I'm just going to do communication studies. And the catalog will list all of the requirements in list form that you need to require for that you need to take for communication studies. But look at this, there's a graduation plan tab. Aha. If you click on that, the communication advisors have actually put together a semester by semester plan for you. Now you might need to tweak this a little for this assignment because remember, we're just planning through our associate degree. And some of the graduation plans for bachelor's degrees kind of drag out the general eds through to the senior year, and we don't want to do that. But this is a nice place to start. So if I make that small, and I go back to my graduation plan, and I make that smaller, so I can look at these side by side, this gives me a really good starting point. So I'm not taking Communications 2110 in my first semester, but that's okay. I can go to the next semester, spring, 2022, and I can add it there. Interpersonal communications, and it's okay to abbreviate some of these. I know it's three credits because it's, it's so right there. And I know by these indicators here, I know it satisfies a social science. So I know it satisfies what? It satisfies a general ed and it also satisfies a major requirement. Ta-da! So that's fantastic. Two for one. I took my English class this semester, my first English class. And again, I'm looking at my GE as well. I know there's a second English class that I have to take. And everybody takes the same one. So I'm going to continue my English to get that done. And that's called intermediate writing. Three credits. And I know that's a general education class, so we'll highlight that. Let's go back to my graduation plan. What else can I take? I should probably continue my math. The graduation plans are great because they tell you which general ed math will also satisfy the math requirement for the major. I'm not quite ready. I started in Math 900, which is the lowest math that you can start in here because I wanted a refresher and my placement score put me there. But I need to look at one of my other resources. Remember the math pathway? What math class should I take? I'm in Math 900. I know that I want to take communication as my major. So I need this path. I need to take Math 900, Math 980, and then Math 1040, which is statistics. So I'm going to go ahead and build this out. 
this is the way my brain works. If your brain works differently, that's okay. So math 980, transitional math 2, and that is worth, oh, I forgot, but I can go here and look. Math 980. Oh, it doesn't say. Anyway, I know it's four credits. So I'm going to put four credits in there. Oh, wait, it's below 1,000. So I'm going to put a zero in there. Then I'm going to go ahead and go to next ball. Oops. And I'm going to put math 1040 in there because that's what my math path said. Statistics, that's three credits. And I know that satisfies my general ed math, but it also satisfies the math for my major. Yay, another double dip. Woohoo! So now we can kind of follow my graduation plan more closely. We can put a fine arts in this semester if we want to. We can put something fun. We can put another communications class if we definitely know that's what we want to major in. So this gives you a good idea of what to take and the order to take them in. But you might find that because of the classes you took this semester, you might need to tweak this and put classes in different semesters. Once you build out two years for your associate degree, you might notice that you're short the 60 credits. So that means you might have to go to the second page and put some more major classes in there and some electives so that you can get up to 60 credits for graduation. I'm short credits because of the two math classes that I took that didn't carry college level credit. Once you build out your plan, you'll want to compare it with the general ed checklist that we went over in class. You want to make sure that you can check all of these little boxes. You need one English 1010 class. I know I have that, 1010D. You need one English 2010 class. That's going to be next semester. You need one math class for general ed. Well, I know that that one's for my major, and I put it right here. Just go on down the line and make sure that you filled all of these requirements. A word about electives. You'll want to fill each semester with at least 13 to 15 credits. An elective credit can be anything that doesn't satisfy a requirement but is college level. That's where activity courses come in, fitness center, art classes, music classes, anything can be an elective for you. I urge you to kind of scroll through the departments in the catalog and try to find classes that interest you. The way you can do that is from the catalog, hit courses. All the departments are listed here. So if I know I like art, I might want to take some extra art classes as electives. So I could take basic drawing, photography, all kinds of art classes there. We have so many to choose from, though, it can be overwhelming. So where I encourage you to put specific classes in as electives, if you can't find enough specific electives to get you up to 60 credits, you can just put electives, two credits or three credits, whatever you want to do. I encourage you, after you've built out your plan, to look at the instructions again because there are some really good helpful tips on doing this right, like using course descriptions, trying to get classes that double dip, making sure you have the right math path, how to choose electives, balancing your schedule. Those are really good tips. The instructions also have a grading rubric. It tells you to make sure you've completed pages one of two and two of this document. And it shows you exactly what I look for when I'm grading the Excel spreadsheet. It tells you to upload pages one and two of this document 
and to upload your Excel document. The third part of this is to make an appointment with me to go over this graduation plan and also to go over a potential spring schedule. So you'll go back to the assignment in Canvas and there will be a Google form for you to make an appointment with me. You'll want to keep your appointment with me and bring a copy or have electronic access to a copy of your graduation plan when you've completed it and your spring schedule. I hope this has helped you. Please let me know if you have any questions.